The opioid problem in Allen County is at epidemic proportions. News Channel 15's Holly Campbell joins us live in the newsroom with the story of one woman who lost her life to the drug. Community leaders came together to talk about the problem today, and in the crowd was a woman who knows the pain of addiction all too well. I've been a police officer over 27 years now. I've never seen the addiction rates and the overdoses and the deaths that are associated with any drug like what we've seen with heroin and fentanyl in this area and actually nationwide. And heroin doesn't discriminate. It could be anybody. It could be your daughter. It could be your next door neighbor. It could be your mom or dad. For Andrea Schroeder, it was her daughter. My daughter overdosed on heroin on October 22nd, 2016. She lived for a week on life support and died October 29th. Schroeder shared her daughter Mariah's story at a luncheon put together to raise awareness and educate the community about the opioid epidemic. Mariah was 27, just getting over a bad breakup when she tried heroin for the first time in May. She started spiraling out of control. A couple days before she passed away, she told me, Mommy, I, I don't think I'm going to make it out of this. It's just too, too strong. And she was even supposed to go to rehab. Uh, we had that set up, but she never made it. It's something Schroeder never thought she would have to face, losing her daughter to addiction. It seems unreal because she, she's smart. She's from a good family. She's a mother of three beautiful girls. Um, it's, it, it just it's, doesn't discriminate. It can happen to anybody. Mariah is just one of more than 700 people who died from overdosing on drugs in Allen County this year. And Hunter says putting a stop to it starts with education. We're going to have some educational programs in the near future to try to help families understand what this is and what it's about. It's an epidemic. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. The city has also started a needle exchange program to help stop the spread of disease among drug users. Monday, we'll take you inside the facility and explain how it works. Live in the newsroom, Holly Campbell, News Channel 15.